Hey you guys, it's Raquel and I'm the CEO and owner of Initiative, um, which is my nonprofit where uh, the vision was placed on my heart to creatively bring healthy back to the families. And um, I've been doing that since 2018. Um, and from Initiative uh, birthed the Rock Center, which is an event space, which um, was brought about to house the activities because I found myself oftentimes um, reaching out to other facilities to rent their space to host these events. Um, so I just got to rent my own event space. But I'm not here to speak to speak about me. I'm here to um, just be a resource. I wanted to provide some information about um, finances and how I pay bills. Um, I have actually thought to bring this information for a while now, but um, I think now is uh, the, the perfect time um, being as um, in. <clears throat> unpredictable as the economy is right now. It's very important for us to manage our finances um, very well. So I um, I was I was t tasked to pay my bills bi monthly um, by my grandmother who um, advised me when I was in my early 20s um, when I got my first apartment by myself and I wasn't sharing bills with anybody. Um, it wasn't my first apartment, I apologize. It was the first apartment that I had by myself. So I wasn't splitting bills with anybody. Um, so I was told to um, <clears throat> pay my bills bi-monthly and I started to do so and it was very helpful and I've, I've, kept, I've kept this way um, ever since and um, back then it was only a few things that I was managing and now I'm managing so many more bills um, and it just creates a balance um, in my finances and I thought that it would be um, important to share so basically what I do is every two weeks um, I sit down and I write down what I bring home um, after taxes and um, I identify with um, the bills that I pay um, monthly. So monthly, okay, I identify the bills that I pay monthly and then I, I split it into, okay? Um, and f from there, um, depending on what type of bill it is, if it's a bill that um, I can pay, pay by monthly, I pay it. But if it's a larger bill like my mortgage or my car payment, um, I have a separate account where I put, put the money in the account and it just sits there until the um, first of the month uh, when I will, the first of the month or the, the, the due date where then I pay the whole the whole balance. But I do split it up still um, <clears throat> by monthly and then I, I set it off into that account. So, um, so basically what you would do is at the top, and I've, I've already kind of, this is um, an example of um, a person that gets paid, I think I said, I think this is $20 an hour. Yeah, this is because $20 an hour at, at full time, 40 hours a week, um, like 50, $25 an hour is um, 50000 50, So this is $41,600, $20 hour. Um, Bi-weekly, they bring home $1,600. I, I took 20% off of taxes. Um, so you can kind of uh, figure out how much taxes um, overall they take out of your check. And I find that mine is anywhere between 18 and 20%. Um, and this leaves me with... Um, well, Jane Doe with $1,280 um, every two weeks, okay? So, off the $1,280, um, if you're like me, you pay your your, your tithes, and that's 10%, which is $128. Um, and then for a person like me who shares a mortgage, or if you're, or if you're a roommate and you have an apartment and you're sharing it, um, this is a person, or this mortgage, um, is a thousand dollars a month and this person splits it with another person so their portion is 500 
So half of 500 is 250, so that's where the 250 comes from. Um, the card note um, here is a $300 card note. Yep. So um, it would be 150 every two weeks. And again, you would be putting those two larger payments into another account that you don't touch. Okay. Um, it's not rainy day fund. It's there to pay the bill. Um, next is car insurance. I think I have this car insurance is $150 a month. So it's um, $75 a pay. Um, your cable bill. I have this this um, mock cable bill as a, uh, um, $100 a month. And that would make it uh, $50 every two weeks. My, so my cable bill is like $200 a month. So my cable bill every two weeks is like $100, which um, is quite, it's quite devastating. And I continue to um, work with my options. I call in frequently and I talk to them blah, blah, about what options I have. Um, I'm at I'm not at the point yet where I'm going to switch providers, but I've I've left the providers because I've noticed on my this that my my split bill like in half it was still a lot. So if I split it in half and it's a lot, that's a problem. Um, example would be the next one, which is cell phone. Um, if you this okay, so say you're sharing this is a, a you're, if you have your own cell phone bill and it's um. 50, so it's $100 a month, um, and so you do 50 and 50. So I have a shared cell phone bill, um, and like currently my cell phone between us is $200. But when I was with my previous provider, so 200, 200 um, split in two, because it's between me and, me and my husband, um, would be $50 a week. I mean, every two weeks for me, okay? So what I was finding was I was doing um, the, like every two weeks I was paying between the both of us over two hundred dollars. So over two hundred dollars is over four hundred dollars a month between the two of us. And I was like, no, mm -mm, this is not going to be. This is not going to be us. This is not building. This is tearing us down. Um, we're going to have to find a different provider. So because because we were able to look, split it down the middle and look at it for you know, the bi bi-weekly payments, it wasn't something that I was um, willing to dish out every two weeks over $200 for a cell phone bill. Um, so if this cell phone bill is $100 a month, every two weeks you pay $50. Um, child care, if it's $100 a week, um, every two weeks would be $200. So I put $200 in there. Um, a credit card, if your credit card bill is $75 a month, um, I use this opportunity to pay more on my credit card bill. So I would do, um, so like if you're, like I said, if your your credit card bill is um, seventy five dollars um, a month, you can do fifty and fifty, or you know, or if you or if your credit card bill is seventy five dollars every um, month, no, no, fifty dollars every month, you could do forty and forty, and then you're putting some extra on it. That's the goal is to not only pay the, the, the interest because pretty much what you're paying is the interest when you pay that minimum balance. It's to pay the balance down. Um, and then um, I put savings. So I, I put savings, I put money in my savings and then I have like an additional line where I put about $25 um, every two weeks in my kids accounts. Um, so it's like 25 and then 25. But you know that's that's how you would break it down, and then I have like after twelve eighty, and I paid all of this. At the end, it was two hundred and seventy seven dollars was was the total um, left. And you know, in here you can put your groceries that you intend on paying every two weeks, or you can you know use it from what you have here. Okay, I have two hundred seventy seven dollars. I can manage $100 for the next two weeks so I can pay $150 in groceries. I don't know. You know, that's just an example. Or the $277 um, is like if I have, not if, when I have extra, um, depending on where, you know, what's going on, I might have a, a red light speeding ticket that I need to pay. So I'm like, all right. Out of this two seventy seven, I'm gonna pay forty dollars for this red light, and I'll take it off of that, and I'll take the forty off of that, and then I'm like, all right, well, I have two hundred thirty seven dollars left. Um, gas for the next 
two week, two three weeks or whatever, two weeks, um, it's going to be uh, twenty five dollars a week or something like that. So that's fifty dollars. So what did I say? Two thirty seven. Take away fifty is one eighty seven. So I got one eighty seven left. These numbers have made me. Um, <clears throat> I'm just I'm pretty skilled in the area of like math and like deducting um, because this number is is imprinted in my mind for the next two weeks because this is clear all my bills are taken care of and this is all I have to work with this is in my um, spend account personally I have about five accounts I have a spend I have um, a joint account with my husband I have a savings I have a savings for my kids I have um, my large lump sum of money um, where it's kind of like set to the side for my bigger bills and I have an account for my business the rock center um, so I have money I have accounts where I, I absolutely do not touch there therefore my bills I do not play and then I have the, the, the account where this would go into and I'm, I'm in my mind or you can write it down um, I've been doing it for so long I don't have to um, where all right, 277. All right, I just went. I, I got 20,000 gas. 257. All right, I did this. That's down that. Like, and you know, you get to it. And for me, I get to a place where it doesn't. I, I wouldn't let it go under a certain point. Um, on from here, like there has um, been um, much much success for me in um, the area of not getting overdraft fees and not living paycheck to paycheck. Um, and being able to save. I've saved, I save, I have um, money for a rainy day. I don't get a flat tire where I'm not like in a bind. Um, it hurts to have to buy like four sets of tires, not four sets, four tires, um, but I could do it. Um, let me see anything. Uh, I mean, it, I, don't, I don't have a whole lot. But um, I'm comfortable, and this has allowed me to be, be comfortable. Um, yeah, yep. Um, that's it. That's all I really have to say. It's it's every two weeks I sit down, and I, I so I I do this first, and then I t I don't touch my money at all. I don't buy myself anything until I pay my bills. I will not, like right now, I want to buy a couple of summer things. Um, but I won't do it until I sit down and um, see what I have. And I think I was going to say one more thing. Um, the, you can just, you can pretty much tailor these to what's going on in your current situation so if you wanted to not put so much on your credit card or you wanted to put the right amount on your credit card and then put more in your savings you would put the regular amount on your your credit card and then up your savings because you want to go on a trip um, or you want to go to um, you know or you want to pay something down so you would just you know you might cut off um, bring down something in one area and increase something in, in another area um yep so this has completely worked for me and my husband me and then me and my husband like this has been me but this is um transferred into our household and um we don't have we don't have conversations about finances because finances are taken care of i have uh, i have like I'm not bragging, but I've recently got, gotten alerts where I'm like, heck, that's crazy. But like my Macy's card, um, it said that I had 36, 36 on time payments. And I was like, to God be the glory, he will do it. But can you see? You've made 36 on time payments. I was like, mm, 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 mm. you go, girl. 36. That's three years. So it works. I just wanted to share 
Ask me any questions. I'm, I'm an expert by experience. Please don't get it twisted. Um, that's, that's what I have. And I just um, wanted to be a resource to you. I love you. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Um, and I'm here if you need me.